Ghana has been really at the forefront of, of technology innovation in the region. I think a lot of people look to Ghana. There's a stability in the policy environment. There is expertise in human capital as well. And there is a support from government and the industry. Tech in Ghana basically offers a platform to um, collaborate whereby it brings all the ecosystem players into one room. At every tech in Ghana, there's a lot of opportunities. It's a way for us to compare notes, you know, find out what has gone wrong, how can we collaborate even more effectively. And then it's a, it's, a, it's a safe space where we can ask tough questions. You know, where we can look you in the face and be like, you goofed. And then you say, okay, okay, my bad, forgive me. How do we move forward? So this has been my second time being a panelist on Tech in Ghana. I think it's a very, very wonderful stage to drive technology in the country. The panel discussion today was very good. I mean, talking about cryptocurrency and the use of the ECD, I think it has come at the right time for all those within this um, ecosystem. The state of the ecosystem in Ghana is um, much um, bigger than it was a couple of years ago. It's improving really fast. I would say certainly the tech ecosystem in Ghana is currently established. Uh, we're not quite where we want to be yet. So I'm looking for the ecosystem to grow and more collaboration. We are you know, working in silos. This kind of fragmentation will not necessarily give us that kind of big push, but collaborating together will grow and make the space really, really great for us. For me, I think we've seen more products than we saw um, a couple of years ago, and we see more women also involved in the tech ecosystem. So we're moving along in the right um, stage, so to speak. Uh, I think, you know, we're in an exciting space where everyone understands the importance of digitization of technology. It's about getting, convening stakeholders together to uh, co-design policies that are really proportionate um, and that respond to the needs of the people that we're looking to serve. So if you see clearly for the past four to five years, there's been an intentional agenda to try and digitize almost every aspect of the economy. And that's giving local entrepreneurs, local tech startups, the opportunity to showcase what they can do. 2022, yes, of course, to have this pandemic behind us. One of the areas that probably we need to pay attention to is how do we link uh, policy to the strategy uh, for driving digitization in Ghana. In 2022, I'm looking forward to the crypto sector blowing up and absolutely changing the way we do things and reimagining the internet. And I'm looking forward to Ghana and Africa being right at the heart of that. Especially on the back of the continental free trade being hosted in Ghana, we want to see tech from Ghana sprouting all around in Africa. Hopefully a lot of the policies that the government talked about, we're going to see them come to real life, so to speak, in 2022. So looking forward to a lot of things in 2022 being positive. Excited about the tech ecosystem where we're heading. 2022, we should be intentional about getting towards a unicorn. We need a unicorn. It's been a very interesting conference as a whole. Um, the dialogue was superb, the questions were awesome. And uh, honestly speaking, I cannot wait to see what 2022 has for us. Thank you very much and see you next year. Tech in Ghana, the best tech conference in the country. Thank you.